Hi folks, welcome back. This is the last part of uh, last week's video sort of compilation. As I say, I've split them up into real time videos as opposed to time lapse to see if it, uh, it works out better for everybody. So, just to carry on to remove the, the dashboard. Take a little air vent out to give you access to the wing nuts which hold the dashboard on. This is where I've got little hands. Watching this one off, I don't actually need it off because the one nuts are just inside the glove box there. Uh, oh, they need those faffing about, but never mind, we'll get there. <clears throat> Dashboard itself has got a few little chips and dinks out of it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it as yet. Uh, I may end up hydro dipping it with a nice barrel wood or something, some, something along those lines. I'll see what happens the other time. But very fiddly wee job here. Dashboard's been on. Quite, quite tight to say the least, but we'll get there. If you've never seen any of these dashboards before, it's just a couple of metal brackets which span between the top dashboard rail and the bottom dashboard rail. <coughs> Two bolts come through from the dashboard like one nuts and just clamp against it basically. That's the easy part. Now for the hard part. Getting the cables and stuff disconnected from behind it. Let's see if we can get the stereo cables. Plastic trim from the front. Just taking it off basically so it doesn't get cracked or smashed on it. That's the last wing nut. Yeah, at least it's a little dash pinnacle but You've got the cables and the speedo, the speedo cable still connected.
a wee bit of wriggling about, but you get there in the end up. Used to speed the cables just getting trapped by the, the grommet on the firewall, so I'll just go and release the grommet and let it come from, from inside the engine bay. garage. I've got parts everywhere. I need to find a home for them from for now until we're ready to get back together again. Dash. I did actually carry on after this point uh, and remove the steering column uh, but for some reason the uh, the little uh, webcam decided to switch itself off, so I lost that bit of footage. So I'm sorry about that, but uh, I seems to be every time I use a grinder, <laughs> the camera seems to want to switch off. But never mind. Anyway, that's that week's little bit of footage. Things to be many find, be many badge from the rear, from the bootlet. So, so we'll basically call it a day on this one for today. Uh, as I say, I'll have a clear up tomorrow, and then I'll maybe start on the rest of the heater controls, uh, the other seat, the dash rails, and then I'll go on to the rear subframe, rear wheels. Keep these occupied for the next couple of weeks anyway, lads. Just remove the last little bits of the bottom of the shelf, the carpeted piece of the shelf. And that'll do us for the day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the, the format of this. And if you uh, if you have. Don't forget, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, people. Catch you later. Ta-da.